Stock market is up, and it's weird. MSNBC is suddenly has their market watch uh, going in the uh, in the right hand of the screen, the right third, lower third, uh, which is weird because they don't. I thought they didn't like the stock market and the economy was collapsing, but they've taken down their COVID uh, rate, which they've had on the right third of their screen for months now. How many people died and everything else. Uh, But the reason why the stock market is up is because uh, we have Pfizer coming out and saying that they have a 90 percent cure. Is a cure rate or what do they say? Effective rate. Yeah, 90 percent effective early results. They still have another month to make sure safety hits the standards they want to. But this is an not only is it a a very positive development, it it proves to be true. It's also something that is an amazing accomplishment of the Trump administration that he never got credit for and the media never said was good until like today. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> know. until know. today they were saying like, oh, I don't know if I would take. I mean, Kamala Harris was getting basically no criticism for coming out and saying that she, she wouldn't, wouldn't take it. it because it was developed during the Trump administration. Well, this is the same vaccine that was developed. This is the yep. one we've been talking about the whole time. Yep. Now they're showing 90 percent effectiveness. And what's going to happen? They're going to now say, I guess, because Biden's president, he's going to get credit for it. That's probably what's going to happen here. Oh, I if guarantee it, it. If it works. I guarantee it. An amazing it. job by Joe Biden. Yep. I will say Andrew Cuomo is still out there saying, like, look, it's good that we have this vaccine, but it's bad that it came out during the Trump administration because we just can't trust it. Like, what are you ta- What are you talking about? This is Donald Trump is not putting things into vials. And testing people with them. He is supplying the the environment in which we can set a global record for vaccine development. That's what Donald Trump did. He didn't actually mix a bunch of chemicals in a lab. Then why didn't Pfizer come have this news last week? You know why? Because Biden was doing it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, by the way, here's a few things that uh, Biden is probably going to take executive actions on. Uh, When he first gets in the coronavirus pandemic, day one, Biden promised to create a pandemic testing board and appoint a national supply chain commander to deal with the coronavirus pandemic. Ooh, I feel so Woodrow Wilson there. Mm, That's great. Pandemic testing board. I wonder I wonder if those will all be Trump supporters that are. Anyway, the uh, former vice president's aide have said he's likely to invoke the Defense Production Act which allows the president to order companies to make products necessary for national defense to build up supplies for the pandemic, according to the New York Times. He has promised to issue an executive order requiring masks on federal property, all federal property, and on all interstate transportation. Truckers, you're going to love that. You're going to love that. Uh, Day one. He is going to be sending a letter to the United Nations um, saying the United States intends to rejoin the the Paris Climate Accord, an agreement between more than 174 countries intended to combat climate change. Uh, It's just going to do nothing but spend a lot of money. Restoring critical race theory training. This is really dangerous. Biden is likely to reverse the executive order issued by President Trump that prohibits federal agencies from conducting so-called critical race theory training. The goal of Trump's executive order was to combat offensive and anti-American race and sex stereotyping and scapegoating by prohibiting ideologies that label entire groups of Americans as inherently racist or evil from the diversity training manuals, according to USA Today. Uh, Trump called the critical race theory a sickness that cannot be allowed to continue. Well, they're going to reverse that. Also, he's going to reverse the travel bans and reverse funding for uh, foreign groups advocating for abortion around the world. So we have those things to really look forward to. And I'm super, super uh, excited uh, about that. I don't know about you (laughs) not that excited about it Uh, i think it's going to be sort of a disaster uh it's not going to be he's not going to be a good president the media will tell you he's be he is a great president the entire time he's in office but he's not going to be a good president although we can all hold out hope that he magically becomes competent and magically becomes intelligent and magically starts respecting the constitution did you see his speech on saturday Uh, as little as possible he came running out did you see that 
I didn't it see. I heard him, I listened to most of it. It made him look older. He um, ran out and he was like, <laughs> It's like the Elizabeth Warren trick where oh. she like ran around Iowa all that time to oh. show that she was virulent. Like, it, it, was it was awful. It was uh, awful. And then he said, 200 million thousand Americans have been. That's too many. Too ma- <laughs> that Whatever is that too is, many. it's too it's many. It's too many. It's too many. One million thousand Americans it's is too, too many. many. That's yeah. true. You know what? Yeah. That's a good point. You have that? Mil- Listen to this. Listen to this. And a hope. And I hope it can provide some comfort and solace to 230 million thousand Americans who've lost a loved one to this terrible (laughs) virus issue. I mean, he's clearly said million by mistake, but still, he does that all the time. He can't say numbers. He legitimately, he's like you with that, actually. You, You always, you have a number in your head, you'll set it to be 10 times correctly in the break, and then get on the air and say it reversed or uh, off by a thousand for no particular reason. He is, he's worse than you on this one. He is, <laughs> it's actually found a way to be worse than well, you. Well, I do it. Uh, and everybody understands that I should not be president <laughs> of the United States. All yeah. right. That's fair. It's yeah. fair. I mean, everybody knows. Can you imagine me with foreign ministers or in foreign countries where I like, I want to thank this guy over here. He's great. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> That'd be terrible. I gotta tell you, the thing I love about <laughs> Kirk Snanik st- and is that it punches above its weight. <laughs> That's all you have to say. That's it. That's all you have to do. That's the entire Obama pre- presidency right there. Yeah.